So let's take a look at the five-membered ring, cyclopentane. Pent means five, so I've got five carbons in my cyclopentane ring. Here, what I notice is, even before connecting the ring and, and completing it, that if I make it flat, this extra bond looks like it's ready to go right into that hole. And that's because the angles in a five-membered ring are actually very close to the expected 109-degree angle. So there's not much angle strain in this molecule. If I were to make it flat, though, it would be quite unstable. So if I put all these carbons in the same plane and make the ring totally flat, what do I see? I see eclipsing all the way around. Anytime two carbons eclipse, their hydrogens eclipse, and that causes a lot of repulsion between the groups. So to alleviate some of that repulsion and make it as stable as possible, it forms the envelope shape where like four of my carbons form the base of the envelope and the fifth forms the flap. So the flap of an envelope can fold forward. So if I fold that forward a little bit, now I don't have a flat ring anymore. These four atoms at the bottom are all on the same plane, but this carbon here is sticking up. The advantage of that? Staggering. Right? So when I eclipse these two carbons, the hydrogens are no longer eclipsing. They're now staggered. So that alleviates some of the torsional strain. It doesn't alleviate all the torsional strain. It only alleviates the torsional strain around the atom that's the flap of the envelope or the one that I pulled up out of the plane with the other four. If I look at the other side of the molecule, here I do have eclipsing. So there is some torsional strain still in the five-membered ring. So even though the angles between these carbon-carbon bonds are all pretty close to 109 and not very unstable, there is still some instability associated with the five-membered ring due to the torsional strain there. It's relatively minimal, so the five-membered ring is still pretty commonly seen in a variety of organic chemicals, and uh, it's not nearly as unstable as the four- and three-membered rings that we uh, saw in the other videos.